Welcome back folks. Uh, in today's class, I'll continue with the relative velocity concepts. And this is the question from the Pearson physics book. And uh, the question is, a swimmer can swim at a speed of 1.8 meters per second and the river is 200 meter wide, has a current of 1.2 meters per second in the west direction. If the swimmer points herself across the north directly across the river, find her velocity relative to the ground. So if this is the this is the river and uh, the the swimmer can swim at this speed. So this will be VA. So actual speed in the previous case, what we discussed the speed with which the plane is flying. So in this case, the speed at which the swimmer is swimming, that will be the actual speed. That is 1.8 meters per second. And she points herself straight across to the north. So I'll point it as the north. The current is 1.2 meters per second in the west direction. So the river is flowing in the west direction like this. And the swimmer is standing here. She points herself directly straight across. She wanted to reach here. That's her goal is. Or should, should I say that's where she intend to go to. And she dives into the water, pointing herself straight across to the north direction. But the water is flowing in this direction. So obviously she will end up being somewhere down here. In her mind, she is going in this direction. She is swimming in this direction. But as an observer, you are standing here. You will find that she is moving in this direction because the flow of water will take her to somewhere in the northwest direction. So that is the question. So this current speed is VW. Uh, which is equal to uh, 1.2 meters per second, which is in the north direction. And swimmer is swimming, wants to swim straight across. So swimmer's actual velocity is that is 1.8 meters per second in the north direction. And she ends up being somewhere in this direction. So that will come out to be VG. Uh, oh, well, yeah. So because this is what her at this is what the person who's standing on the ground will see it as now uh, again i can clearly see this makes a right angle triangle so i can use the uh, rules of a right angle triangle which is vg square is equal to va square plus vw square and then if i put in the values this will be 1.8 square plus 1.2 square, which is equal to VG square. And VG value will come out to be approximately uh, 1 uh, 2.16. So I'll round it off to 2.2. So let me just write it and finish it. 1.2 square once you solve it. So the approximate value will be 2.2 meters per second. And now I wanted to find out the angle at which also she's uh, flowing because for the velocity i also need to have the angle so the angle is this much this is angle theta so i can use it as the tangent theta also sine theta cosine theta whatever formula you wanted to use i'll use the tangent theta in this case tangent theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent which is equal to 1.2 divided by 1.8 1.8 so tangent theta theta value will be equal to tangent inverse 1.2 divided by 1.8 and if i were to do the math that will give me approximately 34 degrees of angle okay so she will end up moving at approximately 34 degrees in the uh, west of north direction so i'll write it as west of north Okay, now uh, the next thing uh, we also wanted to find out the time taken by her to cross uh, this river. Now, in that scenario, I need to talk about one of the concepts. So, when you're trying to find the time, make sure you are using the uh, uh, notations and write parameters which you need to take. So, for example, uh, so if the speed is equal to speed is equal to distance upon time. That's the formula. Now I wanted to find out the time which can be written as distance upon speed. Now which distance I should consider and which speed I should take. So this distance is given to me. This distance is 200 meter and this is what we calculated. This came out to be 2.2 
2.2 uh, meters per second. Now, can I use this velocity and this distance? The answer is no. I need to make sure I consider both the velocity and the distance in the same direction. So what do I mean by that? If the distance is pointing in the north direction, this is the distance. So I should keep the velocity in the same direction. If I wanted to take this velocity, the velocity along the northwest direction, then I have to take the distance across in the same direction. So I don't have the distance in this direction. I can clearly find it by using 200 and then the angle, but I'm not going to do that because I can use this speed, uh, this speed, and then this distance. So both will give you the same answer. So you can go and try and find out this distance also and use this velocity. That'll give you the same time as that of if I use this 200 and 1.8 meters per second. So let's do it then. So time value will be equal to distance, which is 200 divided by 1.8. So if I do the math, that will be 200 divided by 1.8, 111, 111.11 seconds. And I can write it as time equal to 1.11 times 10 raised to the power 2 seconds also. All right. So that's how we can solve these questions. Now, again, uh, following along the concepts, uh, this was the diver. She points herself towards the north direction. And then uh, wherever the water takes her, she ends up moving in that direction. So if I change the question in a, in a, in a little bit, a little bit differently so something like if she what if she has to point straight she has to reach straight across that's now the goal she has to be here and this is where she starts uh, her journey from and the water is again flowing in the west direction same as the previous this is where the water is flowing so obviously she has to move now somewhere in this direction, northeast direction, because the current will take her in this direction. So make sure you are always reading the question carefully before you end up drawing the diagram. In the previous question, she just ties it, pointing herself straight across. In this question, I'm trying to say that she needs to reach at this. This is her destination point. So she has to move somewhere in the northeast direction to reach to the point. So hopefully you were able to understand how to approach these questions. And I'll see you with another video. Till then, bye.